Hey guys, here's a quick video on how to install most mods. Now this is not going to work for every mod, it's just going to work for the mods on the mod launcher. But if you want the link, it's in the top pinned comment. You can find the direct download and I'll also put the link to Sphere's mod launcher on the 7 days to die forums. But once you got that link, go ahead, put that into your um, address bar there and it'll automatically download a program called 7 days to die mod launcher. Open that shit up install it it'll ask you if you want to install it it's um it is registered with windows so it's safe 100 percent you're going to go ahead and install that application and it'll launch it up like this so now you have your main screen so in here you see a whole bunch of fantastic mods uh there's true survival craftworks um survival uk war of the walkers um there's some experimental stuff in there the val mod overhaul was experimental at some one point um you can also launch back into older versions of the game and the great thing about using this launcher guys it doesn't touch your vanilla files so you can still launch your game normally through vanilla and not have to worry about any of your files getting fucked up now the only thing is is your saves can only be played on each mod. Like if you launch one in Clockwork Orange, you don't want to go and launch the same save in True Survival, right? So keep your save separate, but this will keep your vanilla and all your mods and stuff separate. So let's say you want to actually go and play a mod. We're going to go to Skippy 3, and we're going to go and take a look at our mods here. Actually, this one's not installed. So this is what you'll see for the first time if you haven't launched the mod yet. And this here is my public servers so if you'd like to come and play on my public servers definitely um use uh, settlers mod one of these three here it doesn't really matter i actually recommend just using this one here this is more for server address information if you'd like to keep up to date on it it's at www.skippy3.com and that's the number three but anyway so once you come in here and you don't have a green check mark you'll have the red x's just like the true survival and stuff um, go ahead and click on one and it'll say copy from existing copy what you want to do is you want to go ahead select um, C for most people it'll be in C program files if it's not you know what you're doing anyway so we're gonna go ahead install the mod and what it's gonna do is copy the vanilla files over over to a separate file so that it doesn't mess with your original game save and once it's done that, you can go ahead, play mod, start a new playthrough. Now, just to give you a heads up, I really recommend if you're going to be playing on my servers, use the mod launcher because you'll get all the descriptions and the expansion content that's locked behind skills. Um, you want to make sure that you have EAC enabled if you're going to be playing on a server with um, a specific mod. Val mod, you want to disable EAC because they break the EAC, so you can't use it. But if you're using my mod, which is at the moment still EAC friendly, go ahead and use EAC. If you're going to play single player or like host a, a local with your friends, go ahead and actually don't use EAC because EAC does take up memory and lowers performance. So if you can uh, if you can get away with not using it, definitely do it. Just a little tip for you guys, but it's that easy. So once you got it installed, go ahead, play mod, and you're good to go. So for every type of mod, you're going to have to actually end up doing that, especially for Val mod as well here too, the, the different versions of it. But Val mod's on here, uh, True Survival, My Mod, Settler's Mod. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different stuff for you guys to try here. So if you're bored of vanilla, this is a great way to do it. And here we go. I'm on Settler's Mod. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. Or even my viewers can as well, too. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, and have a good one.